Hey guys, BrokeWizard59 here and welcome back to a brand new video. And uh, just recently the seventh season of Star Wars The Clone Wars was announced by Disney at San Diego Comic Con. And of course with the new season that means we'll finally be getting more Star Wars The Clone Wars sets. So uh, I thought I'd go ahead and give you my thoughts and uh, a few possible set ideas. So this is a bit of a set ideas video. We'll be talking about possible sets for Star Wars, uh, the Clone Wars here in 2019. Since uh, this um, it's going to be available in 2019, these sets most probably will be coming out in winter, if not summer 2019. So I thought I'd kind of give you my thoughts as to what type of sets LEGO could possibly release. And uh, in this video, there will be minor spoilers for um, the, actually somewhat major spoilers, uh, for the Bad Batch episodes. Now what I mean is that uh, Lego released the unfinished versions of those episodes on uh, online. And again, I don't know if that's the same story as these episodes that we're going to see in 2019. But just in case they are, I'll just let you know there'll be a minor or somewhat of a spoiler for one of the episodes in uh, that series. So if you want to skip that section, you can go ahead and do that. Um, but again, uh, we're going to be taking a look here at two kind of sets, uh, uh, two kind of uh, types of sets here. So first we're going to be taking a look at just those generic sets, those ones that aren't really specific to any episode that obviously are going to be released. And then we'll take a look at more of the episode specific sets as we know about what six to eight episodes of the series are already. Um, but anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Just want to quickly point out the minifigures of the Bad Batch here in the thumbnail are for minifigs for you. That's David Hall or Solid Brick Studios' uh, uh, own kind of business, so definitely check him out. I'll have a link in the description below to that. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so the first set, these are your more generic vehicles, things that are not specific to an episode. First off, of course, is the gunship. Uh, we haven't seen one since 2013. Uh, in 2019, it'll be six years. Lego releases a gunship every five to six years, so this is like one of those sets that it's very obvious. Plus, it's the sets the ship has sold super well, so why wouldn't Lego make a remake of the gunship? This again won't be the episode two version. Uh, rather, this will probably be the Clone Wars version, uh, similar to the 2008 model. Uh, maybe include some cool new minifigures like Arc Jesse, I believe, uh, which was in one of those unfinished episodes. So again, the first set here, obviously, is Republic Gunship. And then next off, ACTE, another one you saw in the trailer, so it's kind of obvious that that will be released as well. Um, again, this will be also a Clone Wars variant, so last two Gunship and ACTE have been Episode 2 variants, so we'll go back to the 2008 designs with the Clone Wars versions. Again, some cool figs, this include brand new Anakin, hopefully they do a new hairpiece, Maybe even Ahsoka, that'd be cool. Um, and again, like uh, Clone uh, uh, Captain Rex Phase 2, Cody Phase 2, and maybe even Jesse or Kix, I believe. They were ARC Troopers in those unfinished episodes. So if that's still the case in the new ones, those would be some really cool figures to have um, released as well. Next off, ARC-170, another one we see in the trailer. Uh, so this would also be another one of those sets that would be kind of obvious that LEGO could release. Uh, they'll release some sort of clone vehicle, um, like a fighter. I know there's a rumor about the V-19 Torrent, so that could be one. Uh, but either that, maybe even the Headhunter or the ARC-170. ARC-170 is probably the most likely out of these three, I feel. Uh, but again, this would be another cool set. Include some new variants of those uh, Episode 3 clones, like the one you got in the Headhunter. Um, and again, this would be a cool set. Maybe again, include a Jedi, an updated Kit Fisto as a bit of a throwback. Um, but anyways, there's a look at that. All right, and the next set, this is one I really want to see made, and that is the Venator class Star Destroyer. We need a new playset version, and I think this would 2019 would be the year for that to happen. Now, this what you can see on screen is a custom set I ended up making using Lego Digital Designer and Photoshop. I'll link down in the description to my Instagram, or you can check that out. But literally, a 1,300 piece Venator like this would be perfect. Uh, this would be kind of the large $160, $150 set of 
the Clone Wars wave, and it wouldn't be super cool if they could include Anakin, Obi-Wan, Ahsoka, and Rex all in the same set. So basically the figures you see in that set would be a perfect uh, set of figs to include. Again, this would be a great set. Again, the Venator, people have asking for a remake forever. Uh, 2019, that'll be like 10 years, so that's a cool 10-year little anniversary type of thing throwback to the uh, Venator, old Venator set. So maybe Lego could remake it. I think that'd be amazing. Uh, but again, a playset Venator, I don't think there'll be a UCS Venator. A playset one is probably a lot more likely. Uh, but again, let me know what you guys think. A playset Venator would be awesome at $150. And next off, as always, LEGO likes to release kind of the enemy vehicles too. So I feel like there'll be some sort of separatist vehicle. Not sure what. I just had uh, put in the droid landing craft. Uh, that'd be a cool vehicle to finally see be made. Uh, again, this is also a custom set I ended up making using LEGO Digital Designer in Photoshop. Again, check out my Instagram link below. Uh, but again, I feel like, again, they'll be releasing some sort of separatist vehicle, whether that be, again, the landing craft, maybe another AAT. Uh, it really depends, actually, what we see in the episode. So uh, another droid vehicle would be really cool, and we're probably going to see one, maybe even a droid starfighter. So there's a look at that. Now let's get on to the sets which are kind of specific to the episodes. Alright, so the first set here, of course, uh, is the Bad Batch uh, series. We know there's going to be a Bad Batch series uh, arc, and we're going to know that there's going to be a Siege of Mandalore arc. So Bad Batch, first set here. And again, I'll let you know. So the next set is actually where the spoiler comes. So I'll warn you right before that. I'll also put like the time marker up as to what time... Uh, that spoiler happens but first off we got the bad batch uh ship that's kind of obvious now the reason and this would be you could see here is a photo of it in the unfinished episodes i don't know if they're going to go with the same ship it looks very similar to that palpatine shuttle from episode three so that would be a nice set a bit of a recolored updated design so i feel like that would be a cool set to release i remember actually well if it was this ship uh in the unfinished episodes at least uh Padme's like kind of photo uh, was like you know how they do on the gunships where they have those kind of like uh, kind of photos of like things on the side of the gunship they had one of Padme on the Bad Bad ship and Anakin actually saw that and he wasn't too happy about that um, but uh, maybe they might do something like that a cool callback to this uh, episode so that'd be kind of funny uh, but yeah, the Bad Batch episode, uh, Bad Batch ship would be something obviously that we'd get in Lego. Uh, probably it won't include all four Bad Batch figures. Uh, it'll only include probably two. That's how Lego likes it. They don't like to include all of the figures in one set. I remember that with Lord of the Rings. So maybe they'll do something like that where it's two figures in this set and two in the next set. So that would be the first set, the Bad Batch ship. Now the spoilers are now up ahead. All right, and the next set, this would be called the same as the episode was called The Distant Echo. Again, I don't know if this is the same storyline as what's going to be in the episode, but if it is, this would be an obvious set to release, and that would be kind of the scene, like the Techno Union base, where uh, the Bad Batch Rex and all, they find out that Echo is still alive. So that was kind of the spoiler. Um, again, I don't know if this is going to be the same story, but if it is, this would be an obvious set to release. So you'd kind of get Echo and his kind of form that he's in where he's all the wires and robotic legs or whatever we'd get other we'd get rex two of the bad batch figs whoever we didn't include in the bad batch ship and then this is like the techno union base so we'd get this weird new droid which you can see on the upper left i'm not sure what type of battle droid that is it's like a techno union battle droid it flies and stuff it's all weird it has wings and it, it, it's just a weird droid i don't think let um the, uh, the design group is going to include that in the new episodes, but who knows uh, if it were, that would be a droid to include. And then, of course, Wat Tambor, we haven't got him. This would be a perfect set to finally include him in a uh, brand new mold, too. So not just to print it on head. I want to see actual mold of that headpiece. That would be awesome. Similar to how they did Patrick and SpongeBob, that kind of headpiece uh, for Wat Tambor. So, yeah, it'd be great to see him. And that is a look at the Distant Echo set.
Next off, we got the Siege of Mandalore. Uh, we know that's going to be there, so this would be a set to include. Again, this is not really a Siege of Mandalore set here. This is based on the Clone Wars, but I feel like they could do something like this, where, again, I don't want to go into too much detail as to what happens, because uh, I know this probably will be exactly the same as it was described in one of the Star Wars books. So I'm not going to go into any detail, no spoilers. The only thing I'm going to say is, of course, we're on Mandalore. We're going to see Duchess of Teen's Palace, probably. So maybe a attack on Duchess of Teen's Palace, except, of course, the team died. So maybe include uh, Rex, uh, who else? Darth Maul, Rex, uh, Ahsoka, of course, in her new kind of outfit, uh, and maybe some of those cool Ahsoka troopers, something like that. Again, that's kind of all I'm going to go into right now. Uh, but there's a look at the attack on Mandalore. So now there are two more, one to two more arcs of episodes left. We don't know what they are. So this is again another unfinished episode of Utapau. Not sure if this is going to be uh, the kind of uh, uh, arc that will be used. If so, though, maybe a cool Utapau set would be nice. Maybe some of the Utapau background. And it can be one. They actually end up finding this Kyber crystal. So maybe even include something, a brick built version of that. So that's one of them. Uh, and then the other set, which uh, was also explained, uh, is uh, the Son of Dathomir. Again, I feel like this could be a very, uh, this could be something that is very likely some of the episodes that in the, some of the episodes in the new series, this would be a very likely arc. Uh, so I don't want to go into it. It's a really cool arc. Uh, you'll definitely have to wa uh, read the book or there's videos on it too. Uh, so it's related to this uh, book slash arc in the Clone Wars. They could maybe make something related to that. But anyways, there you go. So those were a look at some of the set ideas for the uh, Star Wars The Clone Wars in 2019. Again, we went through some of the basic ones and then some more episode specifics. So let me know what you guys think. Are there any others? I know there are a variety of other arcs uh, revealed in, I believe, those uh, books about season 7 and 8 as there were originally going to be two seasons. There was something with Chewbacca. Uh, I mean, there was... Uh, a ton of different stuff don't think any of that's going to be made so i didn't include any of those ideas but anyways there you go so that's a look at the set ideas um for star wars the clone wars let me know what you guys think down in the comments below thank you so much for watching stay tuned for more videos coming very soon this is broke wizard 59 and i'll see you all next time